a hi this video is about uh, object object reference variable and object um, references an object is an instance of a class it has identity state and behavior a reference variable is a pointer to an object by storing the memory address where the object is located an object reference is the location in memory for a particular object so we have an example uh, string str this is a variable which is going to be a placeholder of the object reference and that variable is getting assigned to new operator string constructor and i'm passing hello world in it so here new string from this point to this point an object is created using the constructor the java system keeps tracks of how to keep find the object and this str is the reference variable which will store the uh, reference of an object and there are three things involved in the statement an object so the moment an object gets created a reference gets a reference get assigns to the a reference is made so that reference is going to be stored in this str variable which is a reference variable and why it is a reference variable because it stores the reference and what is an object reference? An object reference is nothing but the location, an address location. We'll see this. Uh, we'll see this diagram. So this will be more uh, easily uh, relatable. So say that there is a program, or like say there's a person who is uh, an, a boss, and he needs to send message to his uh, employee. So this person is having a piece of paper and the, and the paper has a phone number. So we can assume this piece of paper can be a reference variable. And object references, the moment he is going to dial using his mobile phone, a reference is made. And that reference is going to be the mobile number. And the person to whom he wants to send the message is going to be an object here. We can give... We can think about a couple of more ex, uh, example. Uh, let's say that uh, we have a, we have a book and we have a table of content in the book. Uh, we can assume we, we don't have to assume. We can consider like uh, we will have chapters and we will have page number. We can assume like each chapter is going to be references. Like chapter one is going to be an object reference. Chapter two is going to be an object reference. And the page number is actually going to be your um, your reference variable. So the, the so say like if at page number one, if I'm going to have chapter one, my chapter one is going to be reference, whereas the page number that one is going to be my reference variable. So let's see an example. I have a class called student. It has two fields in it. One is uh, ID and it has a string name uh, Leon. So how will I create an object for this? Creation of object is the most um, widely used object creation method is new operator followed by constructor. Constructor is nothing but a method that has same name as that of the class but it doesn't have written it. So for this thing it has to be that's why it is constructed it has to be same name as that of the class so just putting the new operator along with the class constructor i'm creating an object this is how people create an object so the moment an object gets created there is a reference made in in the memory no oh, wait so So you might ask why why do i even want a reference variable if if this alone is going to be uh you know solves the problem like the object is created why can't i directly go and access the object no when an object is created to access this object you need to make a reference so how will i uh, and a reference is created when this object gets created a reference is created 
to access that reference you need a reference variable so let's say how to create a reference variable you need to know the type the class type so here the class type is student type student type say essay so this is going to be your reference variable and why they call it as reference variable because this variable doesn't directly go and access this new student or it is like i mean in the next step i am going to assign this essay to this new student but this new student directly is not going to give access to everything all it is going to uh, how we'll be accessing it is the reference um, let me write that so now SA is equals to new student. So the moment I assign uh, the reference variable to the reference of new student, I can say that I have created the object finally and assigned it to the reference variable. And this just this this doesn't solve the problem the actual problem is how you will access all the field members of the student so let's do that so you need to know your reference variable dot you're going to refer the id And similarly, you will be able to refer the name. And at this point, let me remove this thing to avoid confusion. So at this point, uh, three things happens. An object gets created. Uh, when an object gets created, it means a memory is getting, uh, we can say like it is going to uh, reserve some place called XYZ in the, inside the JVM and, uh, and that XYZ memory is going to be assigned in the S SCA and how will I access all the references is like using dot operator, I'll be accessing the references. So. I can have multiple references inside a class like I, like I said like if you take a textbook example in the table of content I might have multiple chapter names and I will have multiple page numbers um, so each chapter can be considered like a reference and I am not directly saving the con content inside the the variable I'm only saving giving you the page number references and it will only have the title I'm not directly putting the content itself in the page in the table of content. So what we have in the slide. So yeah, I think I covered this. So how to create an object? Uh, there are five ways you can use, but the one I covered in this video is like using a new keyword. And um, so we have the same example they have a class student it has two fields in it and it could be accessed using new operator followed by student which is a constructor so this is covered reference variable variable pointing to nothing so so you can have multiple uh, reference variable like you can have student t1 and t2 and you you don't point it to anything like at this point i like i didn't point it to anything it was just a uh, it was just a placeholder only the, only when i'm assigning it to something i'm actually accessing it and i have another example that says how to access the uh, fields inside the um, class and I have another example uh, like the other way how you can also create um, uh, multiple uh, variables and I mean multiple references multiple reference variables so let's say I can also have store sp 
Uh, hold on, wait a minute. So I can have SA, SB, and say I have SC as well. But the point I am trying to make here is now SA. Now I have SB. Now, if you look at it, the compiler is going to give me an error because it has to be initialized. So I have a placeholder, but I cannot simply access because it is of type student. I cannot directly access it unless I assign some reference to it. So how will I assign a reference to it? I'll be assigning it like using new operator and student. Again. So let's reuse it and let me put let's see and SC. Let's run this and see. Okay, this error is because I haven't assigned anything here. So let me comment this line. So you can create multiple variables for the same class and everything is going to get, return you the same ID and the name from there. And if and what I was mentioning is like I have student type and like in the same line I can write multiple variable as a placeholder and unless I mention I create an object and assign it to it I will not be able to access it. So now I have SC and it is not assigned there. So either I can add equal to new student a uh, new new operator and the constructor or i can simply assign sb is equal to sc so basically i'm going to assign the reference of sb equal to sb when i'm going to assign one reference to another reference it will still work so declaring variable and not initialized yes covered yep that's it then and uh, thank you